I'm going to show you how to edit the image size and the canvas size within Pixlr Editor. And this is useful if you want to make your image smaller or larger, or if you're wanting to kind of crop your image equally um, without using the crop tool. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, right now, my image, you can see down here at the bottom, it's a 1560 by 936 pixels. So you'll see that change a little bit as we uh, mess around with our image here, but I'm gonna jump right into it. So up here in the toolbar, if you click on image and you click image size, you can adjust the image size. And right now, like I said, we're at 1560 by 936. This constrained proportions, depending on what you're actually trying to do, you usually want that checked. That's why it's checked by default. But if what that means is if I select my drop down and I, and I adjust my width using that slider bar, notice my height that's no longer that 900 and whatever, right? Um, it was 936. And it's because it adjusts with my width. So when I hit OK, my image will stay proportional to it to itself. It won't necessarily warp the uh, proportions of the image. So when I hit OK, it just made the image smaller. OK, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit undo and then I'll show you what will what it looks like just in case you didn't get the perspective. If I uncheck this and then I adjust my width, what it's what's going to happen now is my my uh, height will remain the same. So it's still going to stay the same height, but my width, width is going to go down and that's going to cause the image to kind of be scrunched a little bit. You can see that little bug there. He's not the same. He's kind of scrunched. He looks disproportionate. That hand even looks disproportionate. It looks a little bigger than it was before. Um, so depending on what you're actually wanting, um, you may or may not want that setting on. So that's how you adjust the actual image size but you can also adjust the canvas size, which the canvas size represents this right here, that, that basically how big your picture is. And, and that might be a little bit confusing because you might be saying, hey, well, when you adjusted your image size, that also adjusts your canvas size. And that was kind of true, um, but the difference here is my image pixelation won't change. So there will be fewer pixels just because the nature of what, you know, will cut pictures off, will cut part of the picture off, but, um, for example, if I were to if I were to maybe cut down the width of my canvas and I were to cut it down right here, basically the picture will look the same. It won't stretch it at all, um, and it won't that that bug is going to remain the exact same size, but it just may not show all the same it, all the all the same parts of the bug. So let me show you what I mean. Click on image, click on canvas. Um, I'm just going to select this middle anchor, and we'll show you what that means in a little bit. And if I take my width down a little bit. And then I'm going to take my height down a little bit and hit OK. So you can see the bug hasn't changed size. It's pretty much the exact same size. However, it's cut off all that background that was around here, right? So it hasn't actually made my image smaller, but it's cut off portions of the image. And um, then I'm, I'm going to just show you how that equal uh, or, or excuse me, that anchor works. So I selected this center anchor. And what that does is basically when I reduced my width, it took my, it, it shaved off some of my image, but from both sides, okay? And it did it equally. So if I were to take off, you know, 200 pixels, it would take 100 pixels off this side and 100 pixels off this side. But if I select a different anchor, maybe over on this side, now what it's going to do is it's gonna shave st strictly from this side. So if I cut off, you know, 200 pixels or whatever, you'll notice it's gonna cut off this whole hand portion but then it won't cut off any of this grass, okay? So you can see it cuts from that side because my anchor is on the left side. So um, just depending on what portion of the image you actually want to keep will determine where you want your anchor. So that's the basics of how you can kind of adjust your, um, your canvas and your um, picture, image size. Oh, one last thing I wanna show you. So what if I make my image, what if I make my canvas larger? Now notice this isn't going to adjust my image size but now I have all this white space in the background that I could use to draw with, you know, if I wanted to put a border around it or something. So um, yeah, that's the basics of sizing your image in your canvas within Pixlr. Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below.